down. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, greetings and salutations to you people of the internet. And welcome for one week only to... Wait for it, wait for it. Transformer of the Week. Yeah, we're having uh, Transformer of the Week back just for this week. Because this is Bots at Home. Um, if you've not been following along, um, we're going to be leaving some links down below me here. Below me here, not by my massive Kanuki balls, but in the uh, doobly doobly doo that has all the text and stuff. So, Bots at Home. <laughs> We're already losing this that one. Um, I'm probably going to talk about this more seriously in one of the other videos. <laughs> I'll be on. But, yes, Bots at Home is being set up by uh, a couple of awesome YouTubers to try and help um, raise some money for Murray's Meals. Now, at TF Nation, the Toy Food Store normally raises money for Murray's Meals which is a wonderful charity that helps get food and other things to children that are not in a good place, you know, that um, don't have, are underprivileged, unlike, uh, you know, people like us, who, who, we take a lot of things for granted, but, you know, there's, there's a lot of people in this country and in this world as a whole who don't um, have access to, you know, uh, free square meals a day and all that type of stuff, whereas others of us do. So I think it's important that we um, help these people out. So links for the Just Giving page for Mary's Meals that's specifically running for bots at home will be in the doobly-doo below, as stated. Also, check out um, bots at home, not with the at, I don't think, with the on the Facebook page. Uh, on Facebook uh, to see what other festivities of general transformerness is going on today. But yeah, for me, right now, it's all about <laughs> Transformer of the Week. So, um, I'll, be, I'll be looking at this guy. This is Beast Wars Neo Heinrad. Um, yeah, so in honour of him, I've always had the, 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 my final or last ever time I'd do Transformer of the Week would be for this guy, um, and so to honour that, I'm just throwing things everywhere, I've been drinking some sake, and, uh, which is actually not very nice, <laughs> it was an ordeal. I'll just pull that out there. Oof. The things I do for you guys and for charity below. Okay. Yeah. So this guy's got bits of story, well, for himself and for who he is. Let's just take his accessories off for a second. So, um, back in the days of auto assembly, the first full auto assembly weekend I was going to attend. I'd seen some videos beforehand. I'd been, you know, doing various, various bits of YouTube anyway before before that. But um, uh, basically, that August weekend, a weekend in August, is, was mostly um, up until that point always taken up by things like weddings and stuff like that. So I was never really able to go for like a full weekend or do a full weekend. I'd been to Auto Assembly once before, back when I was in the Claridon Suites. Didn't really know anyone. And um, just kind of just bought some stuff and went home. So I didn't really know fully what to expect. But I was watching some videos. And Rob, whose uh, YouTube name I can't remember right now, uh, did a video talking about this guy. Now this is Heinrad from Beast Wars Neo. I knew about Beast Wars Neo characters and figures that I'd seen on the internet uh, back in the day. Um from TF U Info, or whatever it's called. Um, it's before the TF Wiki. There was just a... The, the TF U Info is still up, and it's a great place. It's just looking at pictures of, of the toys without really any commentary or anything like that. It just gives you the toy, with the accessories, the bio, 
and you know what they've been repainted, renamed, and remolded into. Yeah, so it's a good resource. Um, pimp them up. <laughs> so I knew about the existence of this guy, but I never knew it was something that was attainable to me. I thought, you know, I'd be going to TF Nation and I just figured they'd have old G1 stuff, old, you know, um, UK Beast Wars stuff, and whatever the new stuff was. I didn't really, in my mind, comprehend that this stuff was never available over here. It would also be available at the convention. I don't know why I didn't think that, but I did. I didn't really, it didn't really cross my mind. And when I saw that video, I was like, I need one of those. I need a Heinrad. And sure enough, um, I'd sold some stuff because they had a fans uh, sales table back in the day there. And I'd sold some stuff and got a line to get a Heinrad. He's absolutely awesome. So Heinrad is a Kanuki, which is a, a raccoon dog. So I don't think it's, I think it's one of those creatures that's neither a raccoon or a dog, you know, when he has one of those names like that. And um, the raccoon dogs, the Kanukis, uh, they, they've got some kind of a mythical nature in Japan, as a part of the folklore. Um, if you've seen the Studio Ghibli film that's called, what's it called? Putting My Balls on Everything, I think it's called. Um, Putting my balls on everything. <laughs> You'll know that they're, 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 they're this magical creature. And they're famous for having <laughs> massive testicles. <laughs> Charity, Murray's Meals below. Guys, bots at home. Um, yeah, so... <clears throat> and this is a Transformer. He's got massive testicles. He's also got a clock. So he's a working alarm clock. He's, I don't have any batteries. I'm not going to be testing that out today. Um... But yeah, see the those are his representation representation of his nuggets. So they're like they're quite Cybertronian, <laughs> obviously. So they could get away with it in a kids' world because they could, you know, if someone cast an eye on that a bit too close, they'd just say, "Oh no, no, that's just a robot bits. That's not a that's not nuggets." <laughs> but the they are his balls. That, that that's that's it. So he turns into this. Um, Raccoon dog, so you can have him stood like this. Uh, but you also, you know, you can move his legs like so. And his head is articulated to that point. His tail is that point there. And so you can have him quadrupedal, should you wish. I mean, he's got a whole lot of robot ass there. But, um, yeah. So he's got that. And uh, part of the, like, the, the Japanese folklore with these type of things... He's got as accessories a box of promissory notes and a um, sake jug. So yeah, that's that's kind of the. the I'm not exactly sure of the exact. Um, Traditions and stuff around him, so we'll just do a size comparison now, shall we? Um, that's uh, with a GI Joe uh, classics that figure, um, Zanzibar. Uh, here he is with a Marvel Legends. Oh, I did build two rockets. And here he is with a Siege class, Deluxe class, Deluxe class. So he, he, he's standing around deluxe size in in this mode, but you know there's a lot of bulk to him. So what we do is we're going to transform him because he is a transformer. He does transform. So we'll take his promissory notes off him, and we'll take his sake. I don't have a box of promissory notes, but I do have the sake, which is awful. It's already established. <laughs> so what we're going to do is transform him. So uh, we need to separate those nuggets. Let's just get those nuggets separated. Uh, move these legs back here. Move these nuggets to the side. Oh, rip one of his nuggets off. Oof. Painful. Our eyes are watering. They're on ball, ball joints, obviously. What else would your balls be on? Um, and one of them has his um, 
spark contained it. So yeah, he's got vulnerable balls. Um, and we're going to get back here. I'm going to fold all this back here. Until we can get to a stage to click that into place there. Um, separate his legs. Move his tail back. Swing these legs around. I'm going to fold these bits back here. And pull this foot out. Pull the heel out. Flip these back. Get this foot out. And try and flip this. Oh, Captain, we cannot take it. his heel out like voila and then we have some kind of ungodly abomination we've got missiles stored at the side of his feet um, I'll just leave them on try to anyway and then we separate this part here so we separate the head in half separate the, uh, the flank in half move that down here fold out the arms and then just move the thumb across. And that's him. In his robot mode. So Heimrad is he's quite a magical character as well, I believe. I've not seen really any of Beast Wars Neo. Uh, there's never been a proper full dub and I keep trying to I keep trying to watch it on like the various YouTube things and stuff like that and the quality is never that great and stuff like that so I'm kind of a bit oh I wanna watch it and I wanna watch it properly but I don't know um how but you know here he is so he's a drunkard and he's a time traveller. I think that from that's what the gist I get from it. He likes to drink and he likes to travel in time. Um but he's Robot mode's quite cool. Obviously, it's not a very complex transformation. It's just a bit of just like finding some legs on him and opening up the robot a bit. You know, the chest the same, the arms the same. So, not much really going on. You can move these head parts into different configurations if you want to touch away more. Um, like so. So, he's got his clock here. I mean, you can move the... Um, the alarm time back here but you can also open this up and I presume when you open that up that's where you're gonna put the battery in and also probably control the actual time yeah so his head is on a swivel it does pull up like that because that's when the alarm is but for some reason he's uh, the alarm clock in his robot mode not in his kanuki mode I think I would have preferred a kanuki alarm clock I've never used it but there you go and um, so you, you pull that up oh, spoilers you pull that up when your alarm was set and then to turn it off you push his head down he does have goggles then move up he's cool he's, he's almost a bit martin mcfly there isn't he um yeah those piercing red eyes she red eyes is quite often reserved for an evil character but you know he still looks quite friendly even with, with red eyes and he is a good guy he's a maximal I'll just pluck his goggles down again. I'll have his goggles up. It's fine. Okay, whatever. Um, so you've got this joint here on his shoulders used for transformation. You've got a spin here and a joint. You've got a ball joint here at the elbow. And you've got a ball joint at the wrists and a movable thumb. Um, where are you? So he does have. A swivel here at the waist it seems to be jammed a little bit there for some reason I don't know why 
There's so much sticking it, I don't want to force it too much. It does go 360. Um, the universal here at the leg, it does like start clanging into stuff. See that? See that's it. That's why these are definitely because they're just added on because they just go onto his hip. There's nothing like an extreme use for these. They are completely super, superfluous in robot mode, so they are definitely just designed just to be robot bollocks in his Kanuki mode. Oh, that goes up there. Oh, yeah, let me get that back out there. Um, yep, yeah, so he's got a universal there. He's got a fire swivel. He's got a uh, knee bend. And you can move his foot a little bit like that. It just looks really cool. I really like the figure. He's great. Um, accessories. Oh, yeah, we'll take this. We'll stop filming this. We'll take it off. A box of promissory notes. You do this and a handle comes out. Then you get a sake. Go attach it like so. Put a missile in. Find the right. These wars missiles, there's always like a right and wrong way to put these in. So yeah, and it fires. So yeah, it's notes and sake become a rival for front mode. I just love it. So he doesn't have a thing in his left hand, but he does in his right. So he does have a what is now kind of like the masterpiece system. This was pre-masterpiece, so you know. Um, or was it? Because he's a time traveller. So yeah, he can hold that. And he's ready for battle. Boop, boop. Heimrad. That's why I like it so much. He's just like Beast Wars Neo. He's bloody crazy, right? It's it's marvelously weird. And this guy is like pretty much on top of the weirdness cake. And that's why I've always wanted, I've always wanted this figure. And you know, I've had this figure for a while now. It's one of the ones that's like in my bedroom. <laughs> it's in my bedroom. Yeah, it's by the fireplace that doesn't work. He's he's on the fireplace that doesn't work. His Heinrad takes prime place. So it's a figure I almost see every day of my life. Um, <laughs> size comparison with Zanzibar. <laughs> With the wasted opportunity that he was in Deadpool 2 because for some reason they could treat Deadpool right as his character but none of the side characters actually got to be used like the proper characters they are. Fuck you. <laughs> Shatterstar. Um, and with Siege, side so see obviously you know this guy he, he's a grower, not a shower, you know. He, when he goes into his, uh, if you've gone over there, don't bug to me, so. Um, when he goes into his robot mode, he, you know, he, he he gets bigger, but his balls disappear. Wow. Um, Mary's meal charity below. Um, donate is great. You know, let's help some kids out. Uh, if anything we can do, you know, is just to help other people have a better quality of life. And, um, while also admiring our own stupid plastic purchases. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to miss, like, obviously going to miss TF Nation this year. Uh, and the things, the silly things are going to 
miss uh, being able to have a drink with my friends. Um, I don't particularly do, I've done the cosplay once, um, but yeah, seeing all the people and the amount of effort, <laughs> obviously, effort, this wasn't effort, but the amount of effort that the people put in there is, is always great to see and just like the bar conversations and everything like that is something, you know, we're really going to miss, so I thought I'd br try and bring at least some of that energy here today. And um, once again, bots at home, look for them on Facebook. Murray's meal in the comments below. But until then, be excellent to each other. Party on dudes. And because you deserve it, let's bump fish, shall we? Fisto! Fisto!